Yeah, vigilante is not a good call sign. It's very long, isn't it? I feel like two syllables. Oh, maverick. Maverick is kind of like wishy-washy if it's two or three syllables. Depends on your accent, I suppose. Oh, are we not going to the... Oh. I have to like, look at the phone book and check it out. Check out where it is. Get an invite. All right, got it. Uh huh. All right. I got that number already. Oh well, yeah, but no result for that. No results. Nope, couldn't find it. Nah, nothing. <laughs> Can I call the incident in 1981? Okay. McConnell Air Force Base, how can I help you? Where, where, Hi. where are you? I was just wondering can if you had to answer a few questions. Sure thing, ma'am. Ask away. Well, who is this? Are you with... Someone? Is this a newspaper? Explain. Explain things. What can you tell me about McConnell Air Force Base? It's big. This is the Air Force, Air Force owns it. In the, US, established during World War One. the main purpose of it is to train fighter pilots. The McConnell Flight School is well-renowned all around the country. I bet it's aliens because it's flight school. The school started accepting a limited number of civilian applicants due to the high demand. Some of the most famous dogfighters in U.S. history, such as Ethan Fireball Jenkins, Joseph Vigilante Rain, and Brett Savior Meyer. Fireball! Charles Wade, the great industrialist, did too. He doesn't have a cool name. They just call him Chucky. The former chief mechanic here, the late Niles Bloom. Interesting. They just called Thanks Niles the Bloom lesson. Bloomy. <laughs> Do you recognize the aviator call sign, Cocky? Clock, no, cocky. I know all the clock. Here, I'm positive it's not one of them. This isn't current, though. It might have been used as early as World War II. Oh, that's unfortunate. We don't keep any official records of call signs. The only option I can think of is to get a hold of somebody who was around back then. Any suggestions? The only person I can think of. Niles Prowers. Charles Wade. <laughs> the billionaire. He was stationed at McConnell. He was up until the point when he founded Wade Industries in the 60s. All right. Thanks. Is he Batman? <laughs> My pleasure, ma'am. Anything else I can help you with? Probably not, unless you know about this drowned teen girl. I don't see a reason to ask him about that. <laughs> yeah, I didn't think so. All right, that's all. Goodbye, ma'am. Thank you. You've been very helpful. You know, don't want to, you know, be polite or anything. Say some nice stuff, perhaps. Um, so, Charles Wade. These should come in handy. Well, let me click it. <laughs> Lost my train of thought. I was like, wait, what am I doing? Going to Wade Manor? Hang out with Bruce Wade and, uh, Schmalford? <laughs> Damn, no Charles Wade in here. Was worth a shot, but being rich and famous and all, I guess he's got a hidden number. No hit for Wade Industries either, but it was kind of a long shot for them to have an office in this small county anyway. Oh, if only the internet she existed. Them some other way. Ha, hmm, ha, hmm, ha, hmm. Hmm. Let's ask Grandmama. Grandmama, do you know about this billionaire? Oh. Hiccup. Mind if we? Not at all. Who this guy? Tell me about Charles Wade. Well, I do know he has made quite a name for himself since he and Joseph went to war together. Apparently, he came up with some brilliant piece of engineering for the airplanes. They use it everywhere now. Any idea how to get in touch with him? I'm afraid not, dear. I haven't oh, seen yeah, him. Oh yeah, I could call years. my geeky roommate. He and Joseph grew apart before you were born. Any particular reason for that? Oh, 
Uh, probably because he hated the name Cocky. See you later, Gram. Take care. Yeah, let's let's ask Goody Two Shoes roommate to use her her newfangled PC computer. That stands for personal computer computer. Tell me about the incident in 81. I'm trying to contact Charles Wade. You know, the industrialist? Wow, really? Why? It's complicated, but he knew Grandpa back in the day. They went to war together. Huh. Must be super hard to get in touch with a person like that. Uh, yeah. I'm finding that out. Maybe you could ask someone in the Air Force. If he used to serve with your granddad, I mean. Yeah. Could be worth a shot. God damn it, I mean... <laughs> I'm trying to track down this young girl who drowned in the lake here. Okay. How hard can a dead person be to track down? They tend to stay in one place, you know. Oh, uh, it's a good uh, hint. Very funny, E. I don't even know her name, just when she died. Oh, well, there must be some way to connect a name to that date. Yeah, maybe. It's a good hint to go back to the cemetery. <laughs> hey, Air Force guy, it's me again. I don't need to ask her about that. I don't need to ask. Right. I'm trying to find this guy, but all I have is his nickname, Cocky. Well, what do you know about the guy? Not much. Well, he's cocky. I think he was in the Air Force and served with Grandpa. Maybe you could. Yeah. That... Okay. Go. Bye, Kathy. Bye, Kathy. Bye, Kathy. Bye. Oh, you can just speed dial it too. That's a good idea. I'm gonna re-ask you about Charles Hello, Wade. Hi. Sure thing. I'm trying to get a hold of Charles Wade. Would you happen to know how to reach him? No, ma'am. But Charles Wade is a public figure. He has explicitly asked us not to provide his contact details to anyone. Mm -hmm. Is there any way you can make an exception? I really need to talk to Mr. Really? Wade. Really? No oh, can do. I can't really help you out unless you have some sort of official business. Well, I'm officially making it my business. Never mind. All right then. All right, all right then. That's all. Goodbye, ma'am. All right then. Back to my desk job. Uh, let's go to the cemetery then, I suppose. Dum de dum de dum. Eight six seven five three zero nine. I should do that next time I'm back here. I don't want to reload this again. Hmm. So she died in 75. Also, that is a cute drawing. Oops. Tragic drowning in early morning. The girl is survived. The notice is dated July. Okay, 75. July. No wait. There might be more than one person that died in seventy five. Early morning on Sunday the fourteenth, a teenage girl is survived by the notice. Okay, July fourteenth, nineteen seventy five. Nope. 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 Blackwell. What? Benjamin Hayward. I wonder if these are Kickstarter people. All right, oh, this is the go. right date. Looks like her name was Lily Myers. I should try to get a hold of her family. Hey, so I heard that your daughter died. Can you like just tell me about that for like no reason? I'm just a stranger. Spooky blue-eyed child. Here all alone. Spooky blue-eyed child. Hey, you're a kid, right? I can tell because you have a striped shirt on. 
a little boy, maybe five or six years old. Hey, kid. Call yourself. <laughs> what are you doing? None of your business. Huh. I like you, kid. You're not here alone, right? Where's your mom? Oh, she's around. In pieces. I don't see her. You must be blind or something. I'll go look for your mom, okay? Don't go anywhere. Whatever. Whatever. I should go look for his mother. You're a real big busybody, aren't you, Kathy? I'm gonna find out what happened to you, Grandpa. I promise. Quite a busybody. I shouldn't leave while that kid is alone. Well, I was gonna go look for the... His ma. Enter mausoleum. Oh. Man. He's gone. <gasps> kid? Oh my. Oh my goodness. Guess he found his mom. Okay, you're, you're optimistic. I'm immediately like, nope, ghosts! Definitely, definitely ghosts. Room. Very small. Okay, go back to Grandmama's phone. Finally, we hit the ghost section. <laughs> okay, so. Eight, six, seven, five, three, oh, nine, nine. Man, they never have Easter eggs for that number. Every single thing. Every single thing that has phones you can dial, they never have an Easter egg for 8675309. And it bugs the shit out of me. Does anyone know if there's any games that acknowledge that? <laughs> She's been dead for two decades. I could try to find someone in her family, but I'll need a full name. Oh, for Christ's sake. For Christ's sake. Oh, for crying out loud. Hey, it's me. I don't need to ask. Thought maybe she okay, could use her to her you. fledgling I internet to, to look this shit up. Yeah, please somebody find or make a game that has eight six seven five three zero nine as an Easter egg. Thanks. Oh, hello, dear. Duke Nukem forever. Oh man, that's a shame. Eight six seven five three zero nine. Go to YouTube and look no, it up. No. Shit. What's in your mind? <laughs> I found out that the drowned girl's name was Lily Myers. Ring a bell? Oh yes. Oh, how could I forget? Sue, Jack, oh, and their children, Lily and Nathan. Do they still live around here? Mother and son do. I, I see them in town from time to time. They live somewhere near the lake. But not the father, Jack, was it? No. He disappeared not long after Lily took her own life. Whoa, she killed herself. That's news to me. Oh, that girl had been troubled for years. Truman made an official statement later. It was no accident. Hmm. I see. Do you know how I can reach the family? Not really, dear. Like I said, they tend to keep to themselves. Up in that spooky castle. Bye, Grandma. So long. Okay, so... Now that I know their names, I can look them up in the phone book, perhaps. Mayhaps. I'm really racking up a phone bill at my grandma's house, though. <laughs> Being a little rude. She's been dead for two decades. Wait, yeah. Alright, found an address. Oh, oh, an address, not a phone number? Oh, okay. 
Is it worse to call them out of nowhere or visit their house out of nowhere? I think it's worse to visit their house out of nowhere. That's a little bit creepier. Yeah, go listen to that song. It's good. So it was a big hit, Jenny. This is a very pretty cabin. Very huge looking. Spooky music. Somebody around here is a chain smoker. We have something in common. Good to know. Yeah, it's gonna be awkward. Take thermometer? 55 degrees. Not too chilly, thankfully. I'm not taking it, it's not mine. Yes? Can I help you? Steve Bishop. I hope so. My name's Rain. Kathy Rain. Joseph's girl. The one they sent away. Yeah, that's right. Hmm. Well, what do you want? I had some questions huh. about your daughter, Lily. Well, you know what? I don't have any answers, girl. Girl, now go Lily on and get precious, Special. Lily died. That's all there is to it. <laughs> it's voice acting. My grandfather came to see you, right? To ask about her? Maybe he did. I don't see how that's any of your business. I'm not asking for much, Mrs. Myers. Then clearly, you have no idea what it's like losing a child. Goodbye. Well, I'm stealing your thermometer then. I can see someone moving inside. Stop it! Sue? I'm gonna sue you if you don't talk to me. <laughs> she looks pretty annoyed with me. Can't you, can't you phrase it a little nicer than this shit? Be like, look, I'm sorry for your loss, but I really have some important questions. Please, do me a favor or something. I deserve a few minutes of your time. Like, ugh. I'm still here and will be until you agree to talk to me. Enjoy a night curled up in the leaves, then. <laughs> curled up in the leaves. Stop bothering me. Won't you ever give up? I'm calling the cops. I'm not leaving until I get some answers. Bite me. Bite me. <laughs> Stop it. Yeah, blast him. Give me the old tase. I deserve a few moments of your time. What you deserve is a slap in the face. <laughs> Oh, I deserve to steal this thermometer. Somebody around here is a chain. Take cigarette butts. Swim in lake. Conwell Lake, where Lily Myers met her demise. It doesn't belong to me. I don't want to take it without uh, a good reason. Ah, fine. I have to wait until whatever it is that tells me I have to do that. Mm. Hmm. <laughs> Just go away. It's off our smoke. Care to join me for a smoke, Mrs. Myers? No. Oh, well, um, no. I'm gonna have to think about it. What brand? Coralie Cinders. Extra long. You got taste. I'll give you that. Ah, smokers. Well, I suppose one smoke can hurt. Ah, uh, I suppose. And that's when he realized it was his own bong. <laughs> what? <laughs> oh my. Oh, now that was a good one. <laughs> I'll tell you all about my daughter, you Diane. You what, Kathy? You're okay. Sorry for being such a cranky old bag before. I get a short fuse when I run out of smokes. Well shit, I almost stole yeah. your thermometer. Don't get me started. I had my morning smoke, otherwise we would have had a fist fight on our hands. <laughs> Drugs. <laughs> oh, it's getting chilly. Why don't we head inside? Sure, let's go. She like flicked that in her face. 
Now, this here's my boy, Nathan. He's special. My boy. Nate, be polite and say hello to Kathy. Hi, Kathy. Hi there, big guy. He looks like, uh, Cliff... C Clint Howard. Looks like Clint Howard. Very nice owl. Like. Contrary to popular belief, uh, I don't believe the owls are more than what they seem. Uh, it's like, I don't, I don't like references that will just confuse the absolute ever-living shit out of somebody who doesn't get their reference. Like, that Twin Peaks reference is like, if you don't know what Twin Peaks is, you're just gonna be like, what the fuck? What the shit does that mean? What the fuck? Whereas, like, there's a bunch of references in Uncharted 4 that, like, if you don't get the references, it's still, like, mildly amusing. But if you also- if you know the reference, you're like, oh shit! Good reference! Oh, there's an ashtray in here, too. Just smoking everywhere. Does she have something to say about drape runners, too? I'm surprised. <laughs> So, you wanted to ask me about Lily. Lily? Yeah. Lily. What happened when my grandfather came to see you? Well, he knocked on my door a few years after Lily had passed away. I didn't know Joseph too well myself, but I'd heard of him and the good he'd done for the other people around here. So, I let him in. He started asking a bunch of questions about Lily, like if I was absolutely sure that she. that it was suicide. And what did you say? The truth, that she was depressed and, and had been for a long time. I had no doubts about what happened. Hmm, all right. Anything else? Well, he was weirdly curious about her paintings. Lily painted? Yep, that's one of hers right there on the wall. I see, it's beautiful. So, in what way was he curious? He asked if Lily had painted anything odd or strange. I didn't really get what he was after, but I, I let him have a look at her work. He spent some time browsing through them, and then he wrote something. <laughs> wow, this is bad. No, this is oh, amateur huh. pedestrian. Wow. Well, I shouldn't have asked. Never mind. I'll just see really. myself out. I had the paintings all lined up. Could have been any of them. Would you mind showing them to me? Well, I would if I could, but this is the only one I have left. I sold the rest many years ago to this weirdo art collector. Okay. Oh, so much to ask Do you about. Know anything about what happened to my grandfather? How he ended up in a wheelchair? Stroke, wasn't it? At least that's what I heard. Not necessarily. There are some divided opinions about it. Now that I think about it, that whole ordeal happened to him not long after he came here. How long? Uh, a week, maybe. At the most. Oh, the painting drove him mad. I don't need to ask her about that. Oh, fine. Mind telling me what Lily was like, Sue? I'd be happy to. She was Nathan's older sister by two years. Lily was like any girl growing up. Normal, happy, talking about school boys and whatnot. School boys. She and Nathan school boys. Then, always playing together in the woods. When Lily was ten, she started drawing always doodling on just about anything she could get her hands on. We didn't have much, really, and so she used what she could. Once I even caught her scribbling on toilet paper. <laughs> the toilet paper. <laughs> on her 12th birthday, we gave Lily a thick sketchbook with an assortment of pencils. She was ecstatic. That was the happiest I'd ever seen her. From that day, drawing became her life. Eventually, her art teacher at school helped her to get started with oil painting. When Lily was 15, something changed. At first, I thought it was just usual teen angst, but no. This was something different. She started going out, disappearing for long periods of time. She locked herself in when painting. She never used to do that. I tried everything. Counseling, support groups, antidepressants. Nothing worked. About a year later, she just gave up, and well, you know the rest. I'm sorry, Sue. That must have been unimaginable. Thanks, darling, but it's been a while now. I've learned to live with it. Mm-hmm. Okay. Do you know who Cocky is? <laughs> I don't need to ask her about that. You know, about Cocky? Does the name Charles Wade mean anything to you? 
Well, he's some big-time businessman, ain't he? Yeah, he owns a large company. That about sums up what I know about the fella. Okay. What do you do to support the two of you? Uh, a little bit of this and that. Got me some cash saved up, too. Nathan helps out when he can. What happened to your husband, if you don't mind me asking? You could say... He didn't quite cope as well as I did with what happened to Lily. He got himself a death wish after what happened to her started drinking and getting into all sorts of trouble. Five years left for him in the joint now. Been there for 15. Oh, wow. Man, that must be rough. What did he do? Oh, we're doing just fine without him. Aren't we, Nate? Mama takes good care of us. Mama sure does. Okie dokie. So, tell me about Lily's art. It used to be about cheerful things. Landscape. Barbara stuff. But as she drifted further into depression, she started painting horrible things. Death and decay. And the last few pieces looked like something out of a nightmare. That's awful. Did Lily ever get any recognition for her art? Not really. Except from the guy I told you about who bought most of her paintings. Probably Charles Wade. Rich boy. Rich boy, collecting art. Tell me about this art collector person. Rich, fancy looking, in his 50s or thereabouts. I'd say he'd be around yeah, it's 70. Yeah, it's Charles Wade. Alive. He knocked on that door one day with a wad of cash in his hand. Five thousand dollars. He wanted everything that Lily so much as touched with a brush. Huh. Did he say why? Nope. But I got the feeling that most of that dough was paid so he could avoid any questions. I took the money. I still had Nathan to support. Did the stranger give you his name? No. Well, his face was far from forgettable, though. Big nose, bright blue eyes, looked black Irish. He had a thick black mane, turning gray. No beard. All right, Sue. Thanks. Okay. I think I'm gonna head off now. Sure thing, little cat. Little I'm cat. And people sure get friendly when you give them cigarettes. <laughs> I'm going to run a commercial because that's what I do every hour or so. So I'll see you guys in 90 seconds. Thereabouts. Twitter was fine, thanks. <laughs> that's what I did in the meanwhile. We're back. Um, should probably talk to Nathan. Nice that antlers. They're fairly common in Conwell Woods. What you doing, big fella? Drawing. Oh yeah? What are you drawing? He really looks like Clint the Howard. Nice red man. You mean Santa? No, the nice red man. Now what did I say about raising your voice at strangers? Sorry, Mama. I'll be nice. The red man is nice. Don't mind him. He gets so absorbed in his drawings thanks to that wild imagination of his. Just like his sister. <laughs> Some sort of alien shit, nah, I'm sure. He's stuck in his own little world. Some sort of spooky, spooky something-something happening. Right, so... Hmm. We learned some stuff. But what do we do with the stuff we learned about? I like this track. Ah, art collector. What do we do about that? I'm taking your thermometer, bye. <laughs> hmm, okay. The Catmobile, think about it. She was born a 76 Corley Motors, but there aren't many original parts left. Took me a couple of years to make her perfect. To the Catmobile. It's the Catmobile. My custom chopper bike. Plenty of gas in the tank. Custom? Boy. Yeah. Maybe I can ask the police people about that guy, the art collector. Hey, Lenny. Hello, Kathy. What's up? Hello, I am handsome again as usual. I'm looking radiant today. <laughs> hey, Lenny, could you check the files for a police report? 
A girl who I'd no. Love to Fine, I'll. <laughs> no. Nah, I don't. Want well, gotta go. See ya. I'm not useful. Bye. <laughs> Corley Motors was a thing in full throttle, was it? Is that a thing? Hello, Sheriff. Hello, Sheriff. Mind if I ask you a few more questions? If you must. <sighs> I don't need to ask him that. <laughs> Hurt myself doing that. I don't need to ask him that. Nope. They don't know who this guy is at all. I don't need to ask. Do you know anything about a drowning here in 1975? Young girl named Lily Myers? That case was handled by Truman. I wasn't involved. Uh, I didn't kill her. <laughs> I don't need to. I don't need to. That's all for now. Good. Bye. Did I ask him about Wade? I don't know if I asked this guy about Wade. Hey, Lenny. Hello, Kathy. Nah. I nah. 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 Well, gotta go. See ya. <laughs> Bye. Maybe this guy knows some stuff. I heard chip cheese and I heard that their the play box thing is gonna come out soon like in July for you clearly is there more news did I miss more news hey hi there hey hey hello hey hi there hello okay see ya. I got nothing for you <laughs> it comes out in July I'm extremely hype <laughs> So hype for ukulele. Yeah, I saw the screenshots of the villain. He's a corporate bee. I I kind of love him. Like, first I looked at him and I was like, oh, that's weird looking. I don't know. But then I saw, I realized he was a bee. <laughs> and then I was like, oh, I love him. He's a bee. <laughs> what a great guy. He, he's, and like, yeah, the, the title of his, uh, Company is like hive mind or something stupid like that. <laughs> oh, hello. There's a character named Kartos, god of ore. How can you not give a fuck about this game? That is the funniest shit I've ever heard. Kartos, god of ore. Mine He's a cart, a minecart. Not at all. I don't see a re. I don't see. Oh, damn Hi, it, Grandma. Grandma. You don't know shit. <laughs> That's right, there's a trouser snake as well. <laughs> yeah, when is the church gonna come into play? I've had this pamphlet for like a billion years. And nobody to show it to. Um... <laughs> What's this key for? Mm. Nothing's locked yet. Hmm. How do I learn more about Mr. Charles Wade? Have we read the pamphlet? I don't know if we've read the pamphlet. Oh, that's right. I can probably distract that stupid handsome cop again. You're probably right about that. Uh... It's the brochure that priest gave me at the funeral. The logo stands out, but other than that, there's also an address at the bottom. Uh. You know, if I ever feel like getting my god on. <laughs> Good old Satan. Better get... Alright, so sassy. Can't handle it. Too much sass. Oh yeah, I could probably show that lady some stuff too. You're right. I'm not playing this smart. Surprised it didn't add the, the address I just got. Um, let's pull a file on the dead girl, maybe. If it allows me to do so. Lenny, did you do How can I help us? It's my mother's birthday this weekend. <laughs> it's my mother's birthday this weekend. Hey. Hi there. Uh, could you distract Lenny again? Sure, I needed to puke again anyway. 
Good to know. All right. He, he's got it figured out. He's doing us a solid. Guess what? He's having some kind of fit in there. <sighs> Not again. I feel like there's supposed to be a sound effect during that. <laughs> like, Here we go. Bleh, barf. Okay, there's got to be something in here about Lily Meyer's death. Okay, what do we have here? The bum does look a little bit like Greg Universe, just a tiny bit. Uh, early in the morning. Uh, she was found dead. Delayed by fog. Silent Hill! Suicide note. Matching victim's handwriting. EMT finally arrives. Oh my god, it took them so long. Holy crap. She's dead. Suicide confirmed. Mm -hmm. No, wait, that's not. Whoa, that's... EMT's en route at 5 in the morning and arrives at 7.30 at night? I thought that was AM for a second. Holy shit. <laughs> How lost did you get? Oh my god. What the fuck? That's a bit much. A bit. A bit much. <laughs> hmm. What? Looks like somebody did a Virginia Wolf. I wonder if there's more to it. <laughs> a suicide? That's, that's what you call it? Oof, you wouldn't believe the traffic. <laughs> took me took me ten hours to get here. <laughs> oh man. Hey, uh Sue, does it get foggy enough here to delay people for driving here by like nine, ten hours, some something like that? Oh, it's you again. Come on in. Hell of a detour all the way through Silent Hill. I had a, a few more questions, Sue. Shoot. Shoot. I think I'm gonna sure thing. Actually, I don't. Shoot. I don't think that's combined and not no use. Reason to show her. No reason to show her that. Hey, Sue, do you recognize any of these men? Well, there's Joseph Rain. <laughs> Always so handsome. I had such a crush on him back in the day. And... No way. That's him. The mm -hmm. man who bought the paintings. He's, he's much younger here, but there's no mistake in that hair and nose. Are you sure? I'm positive. Cocky. That's the guy who walked into this cabin with five grand in cash. That's very helpful, Sue. Thanks. Ugh. Another question for the elusive Mr. Wade. Okay. Do you know what this key is about? Do you know what this key opens? Well, that's a bit of a weird question, ain't it? But no. Well, dang. Worth a shot. I'd rather just ask her about her daughter. <laughs> what do you think about this, like, really, um, straightforward account of your daughter being all dead and stuff? So, do stuff to your feelings? What do you think about this church? It's a good church. I go there from time to time. I bring Nate, too, when that boy needs the fear of God put into him. I think it's somewhat irresponsible to teach, uh... Extremely mentally disabled people about God because I think that's that's kind of scary for them. I Would think but I'm coming from someone who has a disabled brother, so he doesn't need to know about that scary shit uh, You like my stun gun look at this I can do tricks with it. Well, there's like nothing else to do here Bye <laughs> Yeah, what do you think about this 14 hour ambulance delay? I think stuff about it. Give me this thing. Damn. It doesn't belong to me. <laughs> I'm gonna need this eventually. 
Shoot. I don't think I showed Grandma that photo. <laughs> oh! <coughs> I got okay. the dictaphone already. I don't think there's anything else in there I need to mention to her. Got a tickle in my throat, excuse me. <clears throat> yeah. <coughs> Look at this photo I found in the locked briefcase. Goodness, I haven't seen that picture in years. This was taken when Joseph was stationed at McConnell Air Force Base. That's him right there on the left. What about the other two? I don't remember the name of the smiling man in the back. The gentleman on the right was Joseph's best friend, Charles Wade. Good old Chucky Wade. Don't know anything about the guy. I found this book in the attic. Recognize it? Oh, yes. I bought it for Joseph's birthday once. He was always fascinated by numbers. He believed that math could explain everything in this world. He was a man of science. There's no denying that. Mm-hmm, <laughs> okay. Grams, can you tell me anything about this picture? It looks awfully bright. Perhaps something was wrong with the camera. Yeah, maybe. I should try to figure something out tomorrow at the university. Mm-hmm. Go to the photo department. Check that shit out. Um, I guess that's it for Granny. See you later, Grams. Take care. Yeah, let's see if that dock does anything when I look at it. I keep neglecting it. The jetty. Can't believe I have gas left in this thing. Been going all over the place with this. I really like the beginning of this track. It's a really good track. Conwell Lake. Oh, gee, I would, but I forgot my swimsuit at home. <laughs> what does she have there? Is that like shadows? Shadow the Hedgehog's, uh. Weapon or something? Sword? Oh, you can move a little bit over here. I didn't know that. Not really useful. Oh! Thick, was... dense forest. What were you doing out there, Grandpa? Hmm. This doesn't exactly help me, does it? Oh, it's an anime joke. Oh, is it Kill the Kill? Is that the anime? I don't know. Huh. Hmm. Ha. 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 Hmm. 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 Maybe the drunk guy knows stuff, and I haven't been showing him anything. What if that? Hey, sheriff. What's the deal with that bump? What bum? This guy? Hey bum, you know anything about church brochure? I don't want to give any of my stuff to a criminal. I might not get it back. Now that's just presumptuous. Yeah, it's a little rude. Especially because it's not like you're cherishing this church brochure. Oh no, this is my favorite church brochure. I can't possibly give it to someone who might not return it. I don't see how those things work together. I thought I'd give it a shot. Don't ask me. I can't believe she said that out loud. I don't see how those. Oh, come on, girl. Give me a break. <laughs> I'm just trying to trying to guess here. Mm 
Hmm. Yeah, let's see if maybe there's a way to get to the church. It said that she knew the address, but she doesn't feel like going there, which is kind of a pain in the butt. Maybe if I check that out in the phone book? Perhaps? 